Good morning guys. I'm here to do a contest entry for the BC Lottery. Uh, if you've not heard about the lottery, you need to check it out. It's on Robert Z's channel. I'll put a link down below and uh, there's a chance to win a lot of records. You know, you could win 25, 30 plus records, who knows? So uh, you might want to check it out. So uh, one of his stipulations in the contest, you had to wear something green or show something green or kind of green related. So I got my green tie dyed Jethro Tull shirt on here. So I guess that covers that base. And he's just wanting us to talk about ourselves and the type, you know, basically ourselves and our music and how we collect and all that kind of stuff. So do I consider myself a collector? I guess so. Uh, I don't think I'm a completist, although I do have a, a lot of Jethro Tull stuff since, you know, he is my favorite. I have a lot of his stuff, uh, just a lot of his stuff, and also a lot of Richie Blackmore. I'm a big Richie Blackmore fan, so I guess if you want to, those two, I probably would feel that position as being a completist. Uh, you know, if I see something I ain't got by them, I grab it. So, you know, other than that, uh, when, when I hear something that I like, I get it. Uh, that's how I collect music. I'm more of a listener than just a collector of to have this or to have that, you know. I really enjoy listening to music. Uh, so, <clears throat> cheers everybody. Good morning. And let's see. Well, when I was very young, when I was first introduced to music, I guess it runs in my mom's side of the family. When I was growing up, there was always music playing. She was playing music, mostly country, old country. But my aunt, which was about seven years younger than my mother, she played a lot of uh, 60s rock and roll. And I really liked that. And I remember uh, listening to her play a lot of music and I really liked it and enjoyed it. And it just kind of grew from that. Then as time went on, you know, I started buying my own records and I still got just about all my records that I bought when I was young. I still have them here in my library, here and there, uh, most of them. And then the uh, CDs came out. And of course, I started buying a lot of CDs like everybody else did and stopped buying records for a long time. <clears throat> I'd pick one up every now and then. I sing real cheap, you know, because in the 90s and early 2000s you could pick killer records up for like a dollar in these uh, old record stores and stuff nobody wanted them you know and i'd pick up one here and there that i seen you know other than that mostly cds is what i bought in the 90s <clears throat> in early 2000s of course you know everything went digital di digitalized you know and you started downloading music and stuff and i kind of got into that a little bit but you know i just like the I like the uh, physical format, you know. I like to have the CD, I like to have the album or something like that tangible that I could come down here in my basement, which is not a very big spot. It takes up probably a little more than half of the basement down here. And uh, this is my little area. So, you know, I come down here, just relax, listen to music and just have a good time. Had a lot of good times down here in this basement since we've been living here since, I guess, about 2000 or so is when we moved in this place. But, uh, you know, that's you know that's basically about it. Uh, I kind of keep everything alphabet in alphabetical order because uh, you can't find nothing. You no, know, I can't anyway. I mean, I can't remember where I put stuff. So it's got to be in some type of order. Remember, everything's in alphabetical order. And the only thing I do different I keep my folk in one section. I like folk music, so I keep all my folk albums in one section. And all my country albums, which I don't have a lot. Uh, mostly I got old country, you know what, like from the 60s, 70s, early 80s. You know, that's the kind of country I'd rather listen to. If I'm gonna listen to country, that's gonna be why I'm gonna listen to the old stuff. So I keep it in one section, but <clears throat> mostly rock, hard rock and heavy metal. 
mostly rock and metal is my favorite, so you'll see me play more of that than we'll, anything, I guess. Oh yeah, he, he said something about, show us something about some, what kind of sleeves you use. Well, uh, several years ago, not long after I first entered into the, joined up into the VC and started making videos and commenting with people, uh, Rob at Black Star Vinyl, <clears throat> he recommended me to check these out. These sleeves here, which I got it on this big purple album, and it's called uh, Clear Bags clearbags.com and he said that they were about the clearest sleeves that he had seen and he's right I mean when you slide these things on it just the album kind of pops and they're really good uh, sleeves and I've been buying them for several years now I've been using those <coughs> the inner sleeves and the outer so I've been buying those and uh, like I said Rob at Black Star he's the one that introduced me to that on also how I found the VC was kind of interesting. You know, I've been on YouTube for about 12, 13 years, I guess. I don't know how long, maybe longer than that. And I was putting up uh, videos, you know, playing records or whatever, just killing time, basically. And uh, there was a guy commented on one of my Saxon videos I put up years ago. His name's Darcy. He's got a channel on the VC, Darcy Six Strings. And he commented, you know, I commented back and I kind of commented back and forth there a little bit. So I clicked on his little icon there and it led me to his channel. And I was like, shoot, this guy's got all kinds of stuff here. He's talking about stuff I like, He's showing all these metal bands, talking about them, showing them and everything. And I watched a lot of his videos and that's how I entered into the VC was through him and his comment. So appreciate that, Darcy opened up a lot of new music to me <clears throat> went on from him to several other people in the vc there's a, i made a lot of good friends here had some vc lts come in uh, just a lot of good friends a lot of good times a lot of good memories you know we're all here for the same thing just listen to music maybe learn some new music and i enjoy that you know learning new music and seeing what everybody else is listening to and you never know, you might learn something. Most of my records I get, uh, I buy some online, you know, I buy through uh, occasionally Discogs, not much, uh, mostly just through band websites. You know, I, and a lot of times I'll find music on Bandcamp, and that's where I spend a lot of time on Bandcamp, because it's just crazy how many artists you can find there, stuff I've never heard before. And you go to their website and buy directly from them, which I like that, supporting the artists. <clears throat> and I buy a lot of music from there. And then, of course, the Goodwills and the flea markets and stuff like that. You know, you run across some good stuff there. That's basically where I get most of my stuff from. You know, and the condition of the records. As long as I can play it and it ain't too crazy with static and don't skip. I don't like a skip. I don't, I don't like that. But as long as it don't skip, and uh, not a lot of static. A little static's fine, but not a lot. You know, that don't bother me. You know, sleeves, they got ring wear or a little war, that don't bother me. You know, of course, yeah, I love the, you know, the pristine album covers, you know, especially for the artwork. I really love, enjoy the artwork. But, you know, that stuff don't bother me. If I see something that I like, I'm going to get it. You know, if a better copy comes along, hey, I'll grab that one. My record player here. Uh, I've had that for years, gosh, since the 80s, I guess. Um, it's a dual CS5000. Uh, I really love it. That's, I love that turntable. It's easy to work. Uh, I just like everything about it, really. It's a good turntable. Uh, and I recommend if you ain't got a turntable or if you got a you know, just something, if you've got a cheap turntable, you're just getting into vinyl, you know, don't worry about that. Just play what you got, enjoy it. Uh, keep your eye out for the old stuff, though. Keep your eye out in flea markets, Goodwills, and stuff like that. Find you a good mid to early 80s turntable or late 70s turntable. It's in good condition. Get that, and you'll be well pleased. You're not, you know, unless you spend 
way up there for a brand new turntable, but you know, those old turntables are really good. The old equipment, I really like the old equipment. Of course, my equipment's not very old, but <clears throat> I got an Ankyo uh, receiver and Sony tape deck, Sony's, Sony uh, CD player, you know. I found a really cool uh, eight track player. It works, I mean, it was still in the box, brand new, and I got it out, cleaned it up good, and kind of it plays. I got a few eight tracks, it's just nostalgia, you know. It works. It's a Panasonic. Well, guys, that's a kind of a quick little contest entry. I might leave here with a uh, video of showing my room here. Uh, I mean, it's not very big, but a lot of you in the VCs have already seen it. I mean, if you've been around, you've, you've watched a few videos here and there, you've seen my room. I might leave here with a quick little video with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you've, if you've not done a video list, you need to get in on it. You need to go to Robert's channel, check it out, and uh, go ahead and do it. Because, you know, say you could win a lot of music, a lot of music. <clears throat> and it's fun, you know. So guys, y'all take care, and we'll catch y'all next time.
rock and roll Say cheery.